And how are you using the new social media to help you in this innovation? Okay, so when you uh, put your cultural event on the app or you um, uh, sign up for the orchestra, you're asked to hook up your Facebook or your Twitter uh, to that. And when you do that, uh, a status update appears in the festival site, in their Facebook, in your Facebook, and all your friends' Facebooks, telling you that you've helped the Just So Festival by agreeing to play the oboe in the DIY orchestra. So we hope that then that social media multiplier starts working and all your friends see, hey, Harriet's helping out by playing the oboe. What is this Just So Festival? Oh, I've got kids. I might be interested in coming. Uh, or I'm coming already. I didn't know they were doing this. That you get that um, social, literally, that social networking happening. Um, the idea of, of people coming together is absolutely crucial to really what we want to achieve through this. That the basic language of the updates are that Harriet helped somebody, helped Juliet, by doing something else, by bringing a microphone. That bringing those two people together is really... two people together is really uh, creating social capital. It's bringing people who maybe knew each other but didn't know that about the other person or bringing two people together who were never previously met. The most basic kind of forms of human interaction um, and that because they're reflected on the social media site, we've actually got a way of assessing how much impact we're actually having, how many people are actually helping, how many people are actually joining in. And this is going to be good for the festival and good for the performers and the participants? I think it gives the festival an idea of uh, what their audience are interested in. And it also, I think it's, it, it's about subscribing people to the audience more. That, you know, if you've come and bought a ticket, you're still kind of a bit standoffish, aren't you? There's still a relationship that is, I've bought something, you as the festival are giving me a service. If, even by playing the recorder for half an hour, I've been a part of the festival, I've got a whole other relationship with it, that it's a part of me and I'm a part of it. And I think, again, we've got a lot of institutions in society that are very, very far removed that offer that service. And I think people, wherever you can break that down and go, actually, this thing is a part of you and you are a part of it. That's really what building social capital is about. It's how institutions, um, I think, can build it with the people that they work with.